Hello there again, minions. Wheezy here. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest way to unlock the new Carve 2 tactical burst rifle in Call of Duty Cold War, which is, as usual, currently sort of meta breaking. So, you want to go get it? You want to get it fast? I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's in zombies. Go figure. <laughs> Okay, minions, let's first look at what the multiplayer challenge is to unlock the Carve 2, and it is using a tactical rifle, rapidly kill two or more players in 10 different completed matches. Now, at least this isn't 15, like previous multiplayer challenges, but you still have to complete 10 matches while doing this challenge, so you're looking at upwards of an hour, whereas the zombie challenge is using tactical rifles, get 250 long shot kills. Now what I'm going to show you, the way to do this in Outbreak, is going to not only get you this in less than an hour, uh, the way that I did it will, you know, my total gameplay time was about 40 minutes beginning to end um, to unlock it. If you do an easier, faster version of what I'll describe, you could probably do, knock this out in 15 to 20 minutes. So basically, you want to get an Outbreak and not have it freeze up like this did on me, and then I jumped into another game, and then while it was loading in, before I even got off the helicopter, it froze again. Cold War is so fucking broken. But, third time was a charm. <laughs> I took my M16, the third zombie game I got in, I played, it did not crash, and I was able to knock it out. So, <clears throat> I'll first describe to you kind of the, the fastest way you want to be able to do this, and then I'll kind of walk you through the rest of what I did, um, which was just entertaining for me. So, obviously, for long shot kills, you've got to get far away from the zombies and shoot them with a scope on your tactical rifle. This is trivial. You can see about the range I'm at now. And luckily, in Outbreak, it pops up and says long shot kill every time you get a long shot kill. So you'll really know whether or not you're at the proper range for killing these zombies. Now, I was kind of tooling around at first a little bit, so I managed to get enough points to uh, upgrade Pack-A-Punch 1, my gun. If you do that, great. If not, what I would recommend is using the objectives, whatever they are, um, as possible to try and get more zombies to spawn. Now, you can just wander around the map killing random zombies, and that's all well and good. But a more efficient and faster way to do this is going to be to activate your objective, and that will cause waves of zombies to spawn in during the objective. This is a defend, so it's like three minutes of zombies just rushing the defend station. Um, this was non-ideal because there was just like a door here. Um, some maps will have an even better opportunity for you to get far away from the defend station and get long shots on anything that attacks the station. Um, obviously some of the zombies are going to attack you, um, but you can do this with basically... Uh, I mean, I haven't gone through all of them, but pretty much any objective that you get. So if you get, like, uh, I'll show you another example I got when I moved to the second world. The HVT doesn't work as well, but it still works okay. A defend is a good one. Oh, obviously, a holdout isn't going to be a great example. So, again, if I'm going to focus on the fastest way to do this, if your first world that you spawn into is a holdout, I would leave. <laughs> it's not going to help you get your uh, long shots any faster. Just quit, start a new game, try and get a better uh, objective. Um, an escort probably also isn't going to be a great one because you have to stay close to the rover and the zombies don't spawn that far away. So a defend would be ideal. You might just back out until you get a defend. Um, there's some other objectives um, that you can do that would be okay for this. The uh, retrieve I've seen is actually another good one. Um, if As long as you're willing to just basically set up in a high spot and then let the objective fail, uh, you can just pick zombies off, let the objective time out, let the game end, and start it again. So the absolute fastest way to do this is to get a favorable objective, activate it, kill the zombies that spawn, and then really you can rinse and repeat if you want to do it as absolutely fast as possible. You can exit outbreak, come back in, because unlike the multiplayer one, what I don't know, I didn't try actually leaving the match. I don't think it would cancel your progress like it does in multiplayer, um, but if so, then you could at least die and lose the match. Um, but again, this is going to take so little time, you're not going to find it as that big an issue. So. Um, yeah, in World 1, activate the objective, slaughter the zombies at long range, rinse and repeat, that's going to be the absolute fastest. What I did is not the absolute fastest, but it was fun for me. So after I did the first objective and shot around for a little bit, I checked, 
I had 156 complete out of 250. Not too bad for moving pretty quick, so I decided to move on to the second world and just keep going. Now, here as you'll see in this first little bit, now with the just Pack-a-Punch one on my M16, it is significantly less effective against zombies, especially armored zombies, um, which is a little bit irritating and it does slow you down as far as the absolute efficiency on this. But I was still enjoying playing zombies and having fun, so I did this. I activated the HVT objective and then ran away from it basically because I wanted, as the zombies were spawning in for the HVT, to uh, be as far away as I possibly could so I could get those additional long shot kills for the zombies that spawned in. Um, which was, again, effective and fun and I'm just sitting up here picking off zombies with an M16, having a good old time, instead of grinding my way through 10 multiplayer matches. So. To each their own, I think this is faster, I think it's more fun, so, you know, I give this a shot. Um, one thing that I did learn with the HVT here, as I tomahawk that mimic, um, I, I tried not to shoot the HVT and I figured, hey, maybe I can just slowly kite him around the map as the zombies spawn infinitely. But what I did learn is that, unfortunately, after a little while, the HVT will just start sprinting at you, he will aggro to you, uh, and not let you just kite zombies around endlessly. Um, and you'll actually have to <laughs> to move him through his stages to defeat him. But um, again, it's you know this is this is still zombies fun. It's it's not the grind that Cold War is. And to unlock the this new tactical rifle, you know it's fast, it's easy, it's fun, and you just aren't going to suffer the grind. So here I got him to his uh, his third stage, and I'm still trying to pick zombies off. But he's just basically pure aggro at this point. <laughs> so I'm trying to wipe him off. I ended up finishing him up with a uh, a shotgun I picked up out of a golden chest in this gameplay. So again, I'm, I'm cutting this down, but yeah, I played through, did some side objectives, um, just kind of focusing on long shotting zombies, but still playing through and enjoying the game. So you know, beginning to end, at, you know, not counting those crashes, you know, for like 42 minutes to finish this, just actually like playing Outbreak pretty you know it's pretty straightforward so there I checked my progress as you guys know you can you can check that during the game by going to your uh, loadout screen and editing your loadouts to make sure that you're making the progress that you want I was at 218 so rather than trying to push it up to world 3 and get another pack of punch and all that stuff I was like okay I'll just uh, I'll just get some more more kills here in in world 2 at some at some long range targets and just knock it out and then do an X fill so <clears throat> this was uh Probably of all the weapon unlocks I've done, um, speci specifically for Cold War, this was the easiest, the most straightforward, and the fastest. And from what I'm hearing, the Carve 2 is an excellent weapon, so you'll probably want to go ahead and unlock it before it gets another nerf. Um, but And this is going to be the f fastest way to do it. So uh, Here I had actually ac uh, activated a Requiem uh, mission, and I parachuted off this ledge and just shot at the zombies that were kiting after me as the as the requiem bosses were trying to chase after me too and this is where i actually finished uh the unlock so uh, you'll see it pop up here in just a moment as i pick off a couple of these stragglers uh i believe i finished off this mangler pick a couple guys off the hill and uh yeah i think it's these last two and then while it's processing that slaughter metal, it's like, oh, uh, oh, by the way, you've unlocked the carve too. So I think at that point, you know, infill to that moment was about 43 minutes of total gameplay and not doing it the absolute most efficient way possible. So rather than quitting out or trying to do anything, I just bought a chopper gunner at the, at the uh, station, went to the Xville, chopper gunnered a bunch of zombies, and did a nice, quick, easy exfil on World 2. So, bingo bongo, I was in and out in less than an hour instead of over an hour for 10 multiplayer matches. Frustration and grinding. It was just, it was butter. It was beautiful. And now I have the Carve 2 unlocked. So, uh, if you guys found this useful and uh, want to give it a try and unlock the Carve 2 this way, I highly recommend it. If you, found, uh, if you found this helpful, please give me a like. If you want to go and slog through multiplayer to unlock the Carve 2, then, you know, I guess leave me a dislike. Because in, in a way, I kind of dislike you too, so it's only fair. <laughs> Subscribe for more... Subscribe for more helpful videos like this and other random fun videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.